Welcome to day three of Advent. We're going to take a little trip today. We're going to go from Germany, then we're going to head across the border to Belgium, and then we're going to fly all the way to the Pacific Northwest and go to Seattle for a nice hazy IPA. So we'll start today with the Costco beer. Uh, this is First Call Pills. Um, I looked this up, and this translates to Prince. So this is Prince Carl's beer. He apparently was a pills man. And I assume that's him on his horse pointing his troops in the direction of the brewery. Uh, these these pills will be like a Bex. German styles pills will be very pale in color like this is. Straw like. It's a little hazy in there. Ah, oh, it smells like a good pills. It smells like Prince Carl. Yeah, nice. Nice taste. It's light, refreshing, but it's got, got some flavor in there. Uh, this is a, this, I would dare I say, is a, a pills fit for a king. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. One of my favorite parts of Christmas is all the delicious treats you get to have. Like, you know, Little Debbie's Christmas tree cakes. Like these. And it's, you know, the one on the box is almost actual size to what you get in here. But one of my favorite parts of the marketing on this box, look there in Santa's sack. He's delivering diabetes to all the children. Had a very shiny nose. Day three from the Aldi advent calendar is this Belgian white ale, also known as a wit beer. This is gonna be like your blue moon, joined with a slice of orange. And again, the Aldi calendar is all brewed by State of Brewing out of Wisconsin. Nice, got similar color to the pills that we just had. This one's very carbonated. It's a little clearer than the other one. Like I said, this would be like a blue moon. That smells like that. This is nice and refreshing. Has a bit of a bite to it. Um, it would probably be better with a slice of orange. Had a little bit of an after taste there at the end. But overall, this is this is a solid version. It's better than the Hefeweizen that, that was on day one. If you ever saw it, you would say it really glows. Another one of my favorite Christmas treats is Jingle Jangle from Trader Joe's. If you hadn't had this, this is a just a mix of chocolate-covered pretzels and uh, popcorn, little peanut butter cups, and all sorts of delightful things but then this year they also released these jingle jangle pretzel twists and these are absolutely amazing they're these big pretzels and they're completely covered in peanut butter and then they stuck on uh looks like oreos and m&ms and these are absolutely delightful they're great with beer maybe not this one in particular, but they're they're pretty good. And then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say ho ho ho. All right, our last beer of the day comes from the Beers of Cheer Advent Calendar, and this one's from Elysian today. This is the Contact Haze Hazy IPA. Hazy IPAs are all the rage now. You'll find them at all of your breweries or local tap rooms. There's usually one of these on draft. Um, this one is 6% and the other two beers today were 5%. So just slightly more juice in it. Uh, this one, the can says it has bursts of bright raspberry, currant, and citrus. So we'll, we'll see about that. Lizzie has some pretty good Pretty good stuff. They do a lot of IPAs. They're out of Seattle. This one's very, very clear. Clearer than the other two today. And I smoke some hops, but I definitely smell maybe 
some of the citrus, maybe the guava that's in this. I mean, I've never actually like picked up a guava and smelled it, but I imagine that's what guava smells like. Um, this is very hoppy. If you don't like hoppy beers, you would not like this. Um, not much, not much of a haze to it, but it, it goes down pretty smooth. Uh, this is a, this is a very tasty beer. Rudolph with your nose so bright, why don't you guide my sleigh tonight? My favorite snack, not just at Christmas time, but of all times of the year, is cheese. I will eat shredded cheese straight from the bag over the sink, sometimes just in the middle of the kitchen. I'll just let the cat eat the scraps. Uh, but she's not getting any of this today. This is my cheese here. Number three. Ooh, man, almost got a paper cut from that one. And cardboard paper cuts are the worst. Oh no, man, it's so difficult. Ooh, it's a Red Lester. I was introduced to this cheese last year, and I was like, hey, Red Lester, give me your number, because you're good. This was a, I like the color to it. It's a solid block of cheese, I like that. They built this one sturdy. Mmm, great flavor. See, I'm dropping it, just like shredded cheese on the floor. Mmm, oh man, get yourself some Red Lester. And then all the reindeer loved him, and they shouted out, Wiggly, yippee! All right, I've, I've been asked by a uh, percentage of the viewers, which there's not very many viewers, so the percentage is pretty high, but when I say that, it's only like two or three people, have <laughs> asked me how I am doing these ratings and keeping track of who's winning, and I hadn't really thought of it or you know, considered that people are actually keeping track of this stuff. Um, but since we have gold as the big one, I, I decided this is three points, frankincense is two points, and myrrh is one point. And uh, I don't know what the overall standings are, because like I said, I haven't been paying attention. But apparently some of you have, so I'm supposed to pay attention now too. So I'll tally them up tomorrow and let you know what the score is. Um, for myrrh today, it's going to be the Aldi one <laughs> again. Um, they did slightly better yesterday, but uh, there's some sort of weird taste at the end of this beer here that a nice peel of orange might uh, hide, but not, not my favorite. And then I'm going to give frankincense to the prince today because he, he's not a king, so he doesn't get the gold. He's a frankincense. He's just a prince. Uh, this was a very tasty pills, though. This is something you can drink all day. And then I'm giving gold to Elysian and Contact Haze. I, uh, I, I love IPAs. I love hops. So uh, this was a tasty one. Got to go with that. So three points, two points, one. And then I'll figure it out tomorrow who's ahead.